Hey, <laughs> oh, sorry. This is Terry Fan making a long overdue video review. I'm gonna review Dirty Tanks Classics Arm Armageddon 2003 and Royal Rumble 2004. This was requested by ECW 881. I want to give a plug to him. Please check him out. And I want to apologize to him for not making this video because this has been long overdue. Gives you the mass listings on the back of me of the box. Let me go ahead and read you. I'm talking about the QB events. Starting with Armageddon 2003. This was a raw pay per view, and it's the evolution of the game. The last chance to win a championship. The last chance for Goy. The last big event of the year. The last piece of the puzzle. Triple threat. <coughs> WWE Armageddon took pl place in Atlanta, Th Florida. It's Goldberg, Triple H, Rob Van Dam, Mark Henry, and Batista. Let's get on with the matches. The only match was Booker T versus Mark Henry. It's an okay match, but they could have done it better. But that match gets a 6 out of 10 because they actually did some good spots in that match. Next match is um, for the Intercontinental Championship Robbie Nam versus Randy Orton with special guest referee Mick Foley. These two worked a very good match. And you got two good wrestlers to work a great match. So that match gets an 8 out of 10. And also, Randy Orton became the, won his first championship in WWE. They yeah, are cutting out title. Next match on the card is Battle of the Sexes. Trish Stratus versus and Lita taking on Chris Jericho and Christian. All four of these wrestlers are arguably the best in their respective in their respective careers, but. This was one of the worst ideas in WWE history. So that match is a 6 out of 10. They at least did some <laughs> decent spots in that match. Next we got um, Shawn Michaels versus Batista. In a very exciting match. Because Shawn Michaels is a guy who works very w good against big guys. And he may try to make Batista look good. And he did. That's an 8 out of 10 for that match. Tag team turmoil, turmoil, tag team turmoil, world tag team championship match. The Deadly Boys versus Martin Jindrak and and Garrison Cade. Valme versus Valiant and Lance Storm versus the Hurricane and Rosie versus Laura Stein versus Scott Steiner and Tess. The Deadlies were won the match. However. Evolutions, Ric Flair and Batista came out there and destroyed them, so and they won the title. So basically, <coughs> that's a seven out of ten for that whole thing. And last but not least was the triple th threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship: Kane versus Goldberg versus Triple H. This was probably the the better match with Goldberg and Triple H, and adding Kane into the mix. They worked. This match was worked pretty good. They did a lot of extreme spots in this match. And that's a 9 out of 10 for that match, but still, it's a great, a pretty good show. Let me show you how I did real quick. Before I give a final rating on this paper, I'm going to go ahead and review the Royal Rumble. Now we're on to the Royal Rumble with John Cena on the cover. All eyes on the prize. The road to WrestleMania starts in Philadelphia tonight. The Royal Rumble took place on Sunday, J January 25th, 2004. Shawn Michaels versus and Triple H with Ray Mysterio on the cover. This actually was a decent Royal Rumble. It's just could have done some good, better things in the match. Let's get on to the card. That's my three of the disc.
opening match was the World Tag Team World Tag Team Championship Table match between the Dudley Boys and Ric Flair and Batista. <laughs> it actually was a good match, but but then again, a match that could have been done on Raw. But I love Batista's heel promo on here when he was going, "Hey, Dudleys, what is with you guys in championship matches? I mean, whoop your asses, arm again. We kicked your asses all over Raw. We're about to beat your asses again tonight." And you guys are the biggest three-time losers the Philadelphia Eagles. Ooh, man. Being in Philadelphia, that's the ultimate no-no. You don't talk bad about the Philadelphia Eagles, let alone Philadelphia. That's like the no-no of no-nos. Because I see in Philadelphia, they are passionate about their Eagles. And I'm, I'm honestly a Cowboys fan, but I'm a Cowboys fan. So I, honestly, I just thought the promo was very funny. Especially when you had the end, where Batista and Phil, while they were in Philadelphia, he he went he didn't did a no no of no nos in Philadelphia, saying you guys are the biggest three time losers since the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, if I remember rightly, the Eagles lost in two consecutive playoff games and they lost in the Super Bowl one year, so it kind of fit. Uh, it was a fitting promo, but a seven out of ten for this match. It was a pretty good opener, but could have done without. Now we're on to the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, Rey Mysterio versus Jamie Noble. It was a pretty good match, but it was way too short. But a 7 out of 10 goes for that match. My favorite match on the card is Chavo Guerrero versus Eddie Guerrero. I love the I remember the build up for the for this match. It was very good, and I honestly I wish they would have continued this feud, but it, that's the way it goes. Uh, the 8 out of 10 for this match. Now we're on to the championship matches. We got Brock Lesnar versus Hardcore Harley for the WWE title. It was not a good match, but I've seen worse. But a 5 out of 10 goes for this match. Arguably the best match of the night was the World Heavyweight Championship last man standing match. Shawn Michaels versus Triple H. They were beating the fuck out of each other in this match. Actually, I'm going to phrase that. They were beating the shit out of each other. In this match, <laughs> they were taking it, taking it to each other, and hell of a match. But they ended in a draw. However, the match gets a nine out of ten. Last but not least, the famous the Royal Rumble match: fifteen Raw and fifteen SmackDown superstars compete. Winner gets a championship glory. Gets a shot championship glory at WrestleMania twenty. Pretty exciting Royal Rumble in my opinion. They uh, everybody was going to stream in this match. I mean, of course, the match was won by Chris Benoit. But my favorite part of the match was when Kurt and the finishers on the big show and Kurt Angle went. Kurt Angle playing the part of leader saying, "Let's go. The big show's got to go." And I also like the part where the Undertaker's dong hit while King was in the ring, and then he gets eliminated. Overall, it's pretty good tag classics, and honestly, getting two pay per for the price one man ain't bad. But I really, out of the two, I enjoyed Armageddon the most out of the pay per views. But I really like the Royal Rumble, but the Armageddon pay per view was actually, to my surprise, very good. So, overall, I give WWE Armageddon 2003 an 8 out of 10. I give the WWE Royal Rumble 2004 as well an 8 out of 10. So the whole set gets an 8 out of 10. And if you don't have those DVDs, please get them. Thanks for watching my review and take care.